Oh, hello, this is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, feel free to write to me at walkwithtak.gmail.com if you have any questions regarding to this video or any other videos that I posted in the past. If you have any comments or video you would like me to make, uh, please let me know. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. I continue to post on my YouTube channel because I truly enjoy home cooking. Home cooking to me is something that I can do uh, with a relaxed mind. Now each day I probably spend about 30 minutes uh, in the kitchen to cook my meal. And uh, during the week I probably spend about two to three hours uh, for prepping. Now prepping turned out to be a relaxing time for me because I never feel rushed and I can start and stop any time I want. However, cooking is more than just cooking for myself and my wife, but cooking is also important for me to cook for other people. I enjoy inviting people to come to eat with me, but I also cook for others when they have a need. And this is a good example. I make this uh, low man dish for a friend of mine who had an accident recently and he broke his jaw, and the result is that he wants something soft to eat, and he loved pork. So through advanced prepping, uh, I have prepared some pork for stir-frying, and I took this from a pork but roast. Uh, this is an excellent cut, uh, because uh, the pork has sufficient amount of fat in it. I guess frequently people call it marbling. Uh, fat turned out to be really important uh, to provide the texture for the pork. When the pork has the marbling, uh, it gives the pork not only better flavor, but it also makes it more tender. Uh, this video is a demonstration of how I use this pork to create the low man. And the reason is that uh, my friend, he loves pork. I'm going to cook this dish in my Heston Titanium wok. Uh, this wok is sent to me by the company. I really enjoy using it. And you can take a look of my review. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use this pork to create this low man dish. But more importantly, uh, I want to stress the significance of uh, advanced prepping, of how through my fast cooking system that I am able to cook any time I want. And it also will not take me usually more than 30 minutes in the kitchen to create the dish that I want. Uh, over the years, I have tried to cook with recipes, but most of the time I was not successful. And probably because I was not able to follow the recipe exactly as the way it is. And quite often, I do not know uh, significant details about the recipe. I may not get the exact ingredients that is required for the recipes. And my measurement might be off. And so consequently, I find cooking with recipe to be frustrating to me. Now, in here, how I cook this pork is based on a template. Now, a template-based cooking is that you do not follow a recipe. Instead of you using a basic template, follow a set of basic guidelines. In this case, what I did is that I seared the pork first. According to this template, I also coat the pork with cornstarch. This will keep the pork dry. I cooked the pork to about 60% done. I'm going to set it aside, and then I'm going to combine it with other ingredients and to cook to its full doneness. I normally do not cook with onion very much, but I know my friend loves onion. So I make a change, and that's the advantage of template-based cooking. I can change the ingredients and make substitutions according to what I want the final outcome to be. I decided I'm going to first saute the onion. Now onions turn out to be really great for this low man dish. And it turned out that there are different ways to control the texture of the onion, depending on how much doneness that you cook them. And this is one of the advantages of home cooking uh, because you can always to control exactly how you would like your dish. I'm going to cook this onion relatively lightly uh, because I know uh, he likes the onion to be a little bit on the crunchy side. Again, all of this allowed to the adjustment using tempeh based cooking. And next is that I'm going to add some frozen green beans. Now these frozen green beans uh, turn out to be really nice and I cook it in a different dish earlier and I really enjoy it. And the frozen green bean compared to fresh green bean is that they are softer. And so for this reason, it probably worked better uh, because he would not want to uh, chew too much and the fresh green bean might be a little bit too crunchy for him. The next step is that I'm going to 
combine the pork together with the vegetables. Now, as I have shown earlier, uh, that I cook the pork to about uh, 60% doneness. And uh, because the second part in cooking the pork to retain their freshness is to not to uh, cook them with high heat. So in this case, when you combine them with vegetables, it's much better, easy to control the heat level. And this is followed by the addition with some carrot. Now, carrot not only adds great flavor uh, to this low man dish, but I think carrot also serves a very important function. It makes the dish look nicer with the red color in it. And next, I'm going to put a small amount of water right on the surface of the wok uh, because some of the uh, food ingredients have stuck and burned to the surface of the wok. And by adding a small amount of water using the wok spatula, I'm able to easily to detach them. And next, I'm going to season the dish very lightly with oyster sauce. And of course, I can season it many different ways. But I think a light seasoning will work better for him because he do not like things that are too uh, heavy. Now the noodles that I'm going to use is some spaghetti pasta noodles. I prep these noodles in advance. I usually boil about two pounds of uh, spaghetti pasta noodles and then I store them in plastic containers and they will give me a shelf life for up to seven to ten days. And this turned out to be extremely convenient because the pasta noodles can be used for many different purposes. Many dishes uh, can work well with these noodles. Of course, I normally use them for a spaghetti meal, but it also works very well in this low man dish. In many ways, this is like a spaghetti meal, uh, except instead of using spaghetti sauce, uh, I use uh, a sauce that are more of an Asian accent. So, as you can see, uh, the wok can be used to cook almost anything that you want by changing the way how you flavor the dish, uh, you can create an entirely different uh, cuisine signature. Okay, all I have to do is that to mix everything together. And uh, also I want to make sure that I have enough sauce to coat the noodles. Now a low main dish is traditionally uh, is that you do not have excess amount of sauce and you just coat it enough and it gives the noodles great flavor. After I do it, taste test, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, this uh, Panda Express Kung Pao sauce. Now again, uh, seasoning your dish is probably the most enjoyable part that I really like in home cooking. Uh, this gives you a lot of opportunity to create many different combinations of flavor and the end result is that your cooking will never be boring. Of course, the ingredients themselves is the most important part in flavoring a dish. Different type of ingredients will give you different type of characteristics. For example, in this dish, you can easily uh, substitute uh, the ingredients with others. For example, the green bean uh, can be substituted by cauliflower or by broccoli, and the carrot uh, can be substituted by snow peas. So the possibility in creating such a dish, once you have the fast cooking system in place. Uh, with advanced prepping, you have many different ingredients to choose from. And with template-based cooking, you do not require a recipe, and you can continue to explore and try different strategies, both in terms of how you season the dish, as well as the type of ingredients that you're going to use. It turns out that the ingredient combination can have profound impact on a dish. Home cooking should be fun. Home cooking should be relaxing. And home cooking should be fulfilling as well. And Home cooking uh, can be extremely creative once you put yourself in an environment that you have the resources, you have the possibilities, and when you have the different type of things available to you to pick from, I think you automatically become more creative. Now this dish turned out to be very suitable for my friend. He loves noodles and he loves green beans and of course he really enjoyed pork. So. I think this dish was a success for him and I'm really very pleased that I was able to cook this dish for him because I really enjoy uh, to cook for other people. So I urge you uh, to look at the fast cooking system in greater detail and think about it to uh, adopt all components of it. In the beginning, it might be a little bit of an investment, but once you master it, you will find it extremely helpful. I post a video each day 
、uh, to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine by making sure that it is practical, efficient, creative, and as well as fun. So when you enter into the kitchen, you will not find it as a chore, but instead you find it a time、uh, for you to explore and to enjoy and to take pleasure of the things that you do. So if you like to learn more about my fast cooking system, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. So keep on cooking, and I will see you tomorrow.